We are here today in front of the Embassy of Iran in Canada, standing in solidarity for our fellow Canadian Saeed Malikpour from Richmond Hill, Ontario. We are most concerned for Saeed as the death sentence may be carried out any time by Iranian authorities. But we haven't forgotten, and I will mention two other Canadians who are jailed in Iran at this time, Hamid Ghassimi Shala from Toronto and Canadian French blogger Hussein Derekshan. Standing here, we unite to speak out against injustice committed by dictators who hide their atrocities under the guise of religion and escape responsibility because of power, greed, and apathy. I'm here as chair of Muslims for Progressive Values Canada. It is a community Muslim organization with five chapters in the United States and two in Canada, but we are not a mosque. We are part of a movement, a movement that stands for freedom of conscience, freedom of expression, and human rights. What guides us? Islam. And when we see injustice in the Muslim world, we ask ourselves and we ask the global Muslim community, is Sharia, also known as the path to water to quench the thirst of one's soul, a license by God to oppress others? No. In fact, the so-called Sharia law enforced by Muslim countries, including the un-Islamic Republic of Iran, has no place in Islam. So we appeal to you, Ayatollah Sayyid Ali Khamenei, and your conscience, knowing Allah is watching. And we remind you and your government of the Holy Quran, the blame is on those who oppress people and cause disorder on earth, resorting to aggression unprovoked. Certainly, whoever is patient and forgives that is from strength of character. God does command you to render back your trust to those on whom they are due. And when you judge between people, that you judge with justice. Your Excellency, such a standard of leadership, a truly Islamic standard, is not being met by your government. For that reason, we appeal for the immediate and safe release of our fellow Canadian Saeed Malekpour and all Canadians held in Iran, including Hamid Ghassim Michal and Hossein Darakshan, who have similarly committed no wrong. And we appeal to our Canadian government, Prime Minister Harper, and the international community of world leaders to make all efforts to peacefully secure the release of these people, these Canadians, and to promote human rights in Iran and end the suffering of the Iranian people. We further appeal to our government to do all it can to secure the release of all Canadians held wrongfully anywhere else in the world. Thank you.